Welcome back to Painters Guild. I'm Will Friedle, and thank you once again for joining us on this amazing journey trying to turn me into a little less crappy of a miniature artist. I'm joined once again by our very special guest, Nathan Villarreal, hey guys. who is going to help us with this little guy yep. right here. So uh, We're I done with the nibbing. We're, good. We're done with the nibbing. And do I have to do the other side too, the other little nib? Yeah, so just, I'll nib it out. Yeah, just nib it. We are now moving from nibbing to painting, as uh, we hope everybody mm -hmm. does. So why don't we smock up and get started? All right, let's do it. We are working yet again on our Infinity Miniature. Um, we have also now primed the Mini, which we've already learned about how to do. We first washed it because we used the, um, the uh, accelerant. accelerant. All right, so uh, what's the first step in making this look like that? Uh, we're gonna be dry brushing that gray I mentioned. It's okay. Vallejo black gray. All right, All right, so we're just gonna apply a little bit of paint in our palette. By palette, I mean wax paper. It's pretty imprecise what we're doing. All right, so. so. We don't need to water the paint or anything? No, nah, we want it as dry as possible. No, 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 you're painting the actual mini, not your body. <laughs> I'm just taking paint off of the, the Is brush. Is that what you do? Yeah. Now, do you do it on your skin? Yeah, it's it's a bad habit of mine, actually. So shouldn't I do it, should I dry brush over here? How much of the paint do you want to take off now? Is that enough? Uh, like... you, you want it so it's barely painting. Here, let's show you. So something of that consistency. So like this? Yeah, that's pretty good. All righty. And now so, we're doing this over the entire model? Yeah, just the entire model. So just, just hit the entire model with that. They'll start picking out details from the black brown that was recently applied to this. I started with the butt plate. <laughs> tactical butt the armor. Tactical ass armor. <laughs> oh yeah, broad strokes for dry brushing, always. Broad strokes for dry brushing. Yeah, don't try being all precise and like Dry brushing, gotcha. like a small area. Let's see how yours looks. Does yours look, does this look okay? Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Sure. So what are the next steps here? All right, so what we're gonna do is take a little bit of this white and we're gonna just be blocking in some color. Where should I be painting? Okay, so on the Hero Mini, I, I painted these visors. Including in the little holes or? No. Don't go in the little yeah, holes. Yeah, don't go in the little holes. Uh, if you do get some in the little holes, we can just fill it in with black paint. Yeah, you know I'm not good at this, right? <laughs> oh, this is the easy part, Will. Really? <laughs> Excellent. Um, all right, so like this. Mhm. Mm I'm also doing like this, like little face mask. What little face mask thing? thing? So what's mask and what isn't mask? How can you tell what's Part of, well, of course you can do it. <laughs> do you need help uh, with yours? Yes, how do you, where, so where's, I just can't see where the mask is. All right, well you kind of like painted over where the mask is. Meaning um, I did it right or I did it no, wrong? No, you did it right. Okay. Um, there's a few areas where we spilled some paint over, but we can fix that. All right, so take some of this Nuln oil from Citadel. Okay, it's that a stuff black wash. tastes great. Use a paintbrush. And the same brush, the same detail brush I was using. Yeah, that, I that works. It. Okay. And just saturate that whole area, and it'll sink into the cracks. How's that looking, Will? It looks a little better, actually. Yeah. I completely and totally messed up the face. Yeah. And then a little bit of the black wash, mm -hmm. and it looks really freaking good right now. Yeah, it, it's talent in a can. It really is. It really is. Like, no joke. It really it went from, I could not make out any of the face features. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make out the eyes. I couldn't, you had like all this perfect. We did the, the, uh, the, the ink wash on the face, and boom, like everything pops out exactly the way it's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Can you just buy a mini and soak it in one of these and then pull it out and it's perfectly painted? You know, they have stuff great. called dips that work similar to that. You're Where kidding me, you, I was joking. Yeah, Why you, are we not using that? <laughs> it's perfect. I don't even want to touch it anymore. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I guess the next step, so you perfectly paint the face and head. Mm -hmm. 
what's the next step uh, after pick I've out done this so great? All the other details that you want in white. So I did like the chest piece in white. So let's do that next. The chest piece will be in white. Okay. All right. So we are gonna wait for some of the white to dry, and I think that's a perfect time. Why don't we do another mini show and tell? Sure. I think you brought some other cool stuff with you. Why don't we check that out? Yeah, I brought some Infinity models from the same line. Oh, okay, beautiful. So here's a big robot I did. This game was called a Yodum. They're so heavy. Yeah, it's pure metal. And did you, you had to build it the same way we built this? Yeah, and you correct. pinned it and everything else? That was one of the first models I painted from that line. It has to be eight years ago now. Did you add the writing and the, all the kind of, I the, did. you did all that stuff yeah. yourself? So with, that wasn't with part this of the model. Brush. <laughs> this is bulldozer. These are like legitimately heavy. Yeah, they're super heavy. That thing's like a pound. Yeah, this thing <laughs> is very cool. How long did this take? Uh, that one in six hours. I, I kind of rushed it. You rushed it, of course. I can tell by the perfect face. Um, <laughs> what else you got there? All right, so I brought her. She's a motorcycle chick called a Maverick. Wow, very cool. Yeah, so I, I imposed some details on the windshield of the bike. I know, so that's, this is all stuff you added. You essentially added, decided to add a heads-up display mm -hmm. because the little tiny model wasn't hard enough. <laughs> it just looked so flat to me. That's why, why not put a tiny little heads-up display where you can literally see writing and a <laughs> toggle, and I mean, it's absolutely crazy. You got the shotgun. If you like um, the detail on that, check this guy out. This is a Hexa Sniper from Infinity. Wow. So wait, you you did all the detail on the on the. Uh, I did. How long did that take? So the model without the cloak took, I don't know, four or five hours. The cloak itself took twice as long. Now, I guess the question I would ask would be, why? Why? You know what I mean? Like you you, you were good, could have done the model in half the time, mm -hmm. and then all the de was this just for you or were you? I just wanted to see how well I can make it look. Wow. <laughs> And I mean, look at, you got the soda can on the on the ground that's been crushed and spilled. <laughs> and that, now have you, you know, gone to competitions with these kind of things? Have. Or yeah, have you won any stuff? I have. What yeah, have you the won? the Draconic Awards. Really? I, I've never won a best in place, but I've gotten the gold on in there. This is ridiculous. So I take it you have to do all one color, mm -hmm. and then you come back, let that dry, you come back, and then another color. Yeah, that's the longest part of painting is waiting for things to dry. Yeah. Is this the most detail you've ever done on anything? No. Really? It's not? No. Is it close? No. Really? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. You got another one over there? All right, last one. It's a little, like, robot with rockets sticking out. It's called a tractor mule. Jeez. Very, very cool. Look at the detail on the bags. and Now, how many figures do you normally use to play Infinity like, at a time? 10 to 15. And so you painted them all, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't play a game without painted models. And you've got to do it yourself. Yes. It would bug the shit out of me if I didn't. And it goes without saying these larger models have a lot more work to do. Well, sure, yeah. I would imagine yeah, I would imagine it's it's pretty incredible. But then again, you pick up some of the smaller models and you go, "Damn." I mean, just <laughs> the detail is absolutely ridiculous. All right. I think they've dried enough, have they not? So yeah. I put magic make me look better potion on it. Yeah, so let's wash the area we did the chest area. Okay, and uh does it matter the size of the brush I use again? Nah, not really. Just don't go too small because we're saturating rather than painting on. And now do we just go straight over it? Yeah, I just go straight over it, just like so. Oh, this stuff's awesome because it sinks into the recesses where we've messed up and it also shades the model. I like how you said we messed up, like you've also messed up. How's that look? If I hand you mine, what do you think of that? Yeah, this is what we wanted to see right so now. So that's not horrible, right? Yeah, no, it's good. It's not it's yours, really but it's not terrible. <laughs> Let's focus on the gun now. Okay, the cool. You're back. Nice. So here's field blue, which is like a bluish gray, a little darker. Okay, okay. Let's cover the gun in this color. Enti the entire yeah. gun. Yeah, and try to use a thin layer so we don't obscure any of the details. So we just. So almost like a dry brush, but not quite? Yeah, you don't have to take as much of the paint off. But the whole gun should be painted this. Yeah. But kind of lightly. If you can't hit the recesses, it's fine. Do you go up or like around the head? Wow, yours is a lot darker than mine is. Do I want to go darker than that? No, no, you're good. 
I think I've hit the, the spots you have, just trying cool. to mimic what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So what would the next step for, are we still concentrating on the gun, right? Yeah, yeah, while everything else dries on the rest of the model, let's okay. concentrate on the gun. Okay. Let's make it look like this gun's been shooting some stuff. Uh, it's a flamethrower, so here's some gold paint. We've got some glorious gold. <laughs> All right, so show me through what we're do. Is it big brush or little brush? Uh, you could use that same wash brush. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to be dry brushing a and little area. What are we going to be doing here? So we're just going to take a little bit of gold. All right. Dry brush it onto the gun tip right here. Cool. Yeah, we're going to be darkening this up with a with a wash. And I want to do the front too, right? Mm-hmm. Like the front of the barrel. Yeah, and we're going to be doing that with a different color, actually. The front here? So, yeah. so I shouldn't touch that? Yeah, I mean, if you got gold on it, that's okay. No, no, I didn't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped myself before a mistake for a while. <laughs> so how's that? Yeah, that's great. Um, so I took a little bit of this black gray. Okay. So we're just going to dry brush this area to make it look like it's burnt. That's the cool thing about dry brushing is you can kind of just keep hitting it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take that wash, talent in the can, saturate the whole gun. Saturate the whole gun with talent in the can. Yeah. The same wash brush. Yeah, so this wash like instantly shades everything, which is great. So we're almost done with the gun. Once it dries, we're just gonna add a few highlights and details to it. Okay. How do you feel about fine details? I feel that they're often overlooked. <laughs> Do you want to jump onto some fine details? Sure. Okay. We're gonna. It says in a scared way. We're gonna paint the face and the eyes. Oh, the eyes are the mirror, the groin. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna drop in some flesh color. So just take some paint. And we're just gonna drop it in where the face is. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. That looks great. All right, we're just gonna oh, take a brown wash. Hit oh, really? Go straight over with the brown wash. Yeah. And so it'll just like give shadow to the to the skin. And you went straight over it. Like, yeah, I don't just have went to worry over. about. Don't put too much on there. Is that too much? Uh, yeah, I'd lose a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So once the wash dries, we're gonna go on to eyes. Just a dab of white paint on your finest brush. Remove some of the paint so you're barely touching on some paint. And then we're gonna drop in the eyeballs. Yeesh. All right. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrifying. I can't touch the damn thing. I'm literally sweating. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> I have a thin sheen of sweat <laughs> from my toes, through my crotch, up past my neck because of this. Like, I was totally fine. All right, so I managed to get um, the pupils on, mm -hmm. on my amazingly surprised character, <laughs> um, which was a challenge. Now, you want to continue with more fine detail, so we're going to do the logo on the side? Yeah, the logo on the right arm, or okay. right shoulder. And so we're going to take a dot, and we're just going to like sink it into the recessed areas. Oh, so it's the we're doing the recessed areas first, yeah. okay. Let me screw up the recessed areas first. Yeah, so we're just dropping the paint in there. It's okay if you get a little bit on that logo because you're gonna be painting green on that uh, raised area. Just so little. Yeah, that uh, the reason why it's so watery is because this is a an airbrush paint. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says it model air right on there. Mm -hmm. But it flows a lot better in smaller areas, I feel. So now we're doing... Yeah, so we're doing the raised portion of... The, in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. And the surrounding circle. How are you doing the circle? With the freehand. No, I know... Th <laughs> With talent. <laughs> Not in a can. I meant, did you just go around? Yeah, I just used the tip of the brush and barely touched it on. not great. Yeah, it is. Check it out. But see how sh like crisp yours is? 
<laughs> like I can see the shape, like I know exactly what you're going for. It's like, oh, you're in that battalion while well, he's in the <laughs> battalion. <laughs> On the other shoulder, there's like this like flower star thing. We'll just make it red. It's just a bubble, there we go, okay. All right, so. Yes, yeah, so let's just fill that in. It'll be much easier than pupils and See, you're just setting me up for failure. No, I'm not, Will. It'll be much easier than the other things you screwed up. <laughs> oh, wait, you screwed that up, too. See? Excellent. That's not bad, right? Yeah. My god, yours is perfect! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> damn you! Damn you! Oh, horrifying. I'm doing more because yours looks better. <laughs> and we still have some chrome paint out, right? Oh, uh, yes, I still have the chrome here. Yeah, let's, you know, let's scratch up the armor a little bit. Now, are you doing this at any specific point where light would hit, or is it just more because you think it'll look cool? I think it's like just where it would look cool, battle, battle like scratches and stuff. This is kind of like just edge highlighting a little bit. Yeah, right? this is exactly what we're doing with Chrome. So I made a few mistakes with edge highlighting that I need to cover. What? Yeah. See how I, I did too big of a scratch right there? Now why can it be, because I put one there, is that too big of a scratch? But to me, I thought that was like, I did it on purpose, because it was like, he got scratched there. Yeah, then he got scratched Okay, there. good, I did, yeah. I literally, I was like, I want to put a wider one here, like in my own. Yeah, because with me, I want thinner ones, so that one They just look good, there you go. Doesn't really match with the other ones, but yeah. I, is it wrong I want to highlight the ass? No, not at all. You did a little something under there. Yeah. Like he fell. See, I like that where it's kind of like, because it's... <laughs> and naturally, like, the ass plates would be pretty yeah, worn. Yeah, of course. Like, sliding and sitting on it. All right, so is that it? Are we done? Uh, no. Okay, good. What's we're, next? We're going back to fine detail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's paint in some... <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what are we doing now? We're gonna paint some of the pilot lights on his. Some of the what? The pilot lights. You're making up words. Where is our pilot light? So in the middle of the chest, there's like a triangle and then some triangles on his forearms. I don't see the triangle. Oh, like the tiny little that thing? Yeah, yes, that thing. <laughs> I thought it was a mistake. <laughs> Okay. Now what are we doing now? What are we, what exactly are you painting before we paint this? The triangles. So this guy, we filled in with some emerald. And it's one of those deals where you're gonna be dropping in three colors in this small space. Oh, of course we are. <laughs> Very excited about that. Could you also repeatedly punch me in the groin as you're doing it? <laughs> that would make this an awesome process. It's so ner it's not nerve wracking to you at all though, is it? It's just no. very zen and... It's me great. too. <laughs> I'm, I'm aging like a president. <laughs> Seriously. It's like the before and after, it's gonna be the before picture of, of me before we started Painter's Guild, and then it's gonna be the after picture. I'm <laughs> gonna look like Bill Clinton eight years later. <laughs> How's that? Good. So you're gonna hit that one too, and that one. Okay. Not too hard, right? It's not like it's easy. Uh, we're gonna be working on these pilot lights for a little bit. Okay. Wait, there's more of them? Oh, no, no, we're just gonna be working on the same ones that we just filled in. How can you put more color in that tiny little space? All right, so take your your jade paint. Take my what paint? The jade, or, or the emerald paint. Put a little dot on the side. Dip your paintbrush on the white, and we're gonna mix it together. And we're just gonna paint a little dot you gonna paint a dot where? On the top of that. Just to highlight that. On the little... top of that. On the top of what, man? Of the little pilot light. Wait, what? So, there's a little dot within the pilot light. So in the middle of the triangle? Yeah, or anywhere. I'm confused as to what you did. 
So it dropped in some color. Oh, right into yeah. right, right, right into the center of, of mm -hmm. the triangle we already did. And we're going to be putting an even smaller dot of white in the middle of that. Of course we're not. Why make it easy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last step is a little bit more of this gold paint. Okay. Hitting areas where the chrome is taking some real estate. To, just Over to, the chrome, nowhere, nowhere where it's not? Yeah, but don't cover up the chrome, just hit like areas of the chrome. It helps to hold your breath. I haven't breathed in eight episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How's that? He looks groovy. <laughs> it's not too bad, right? No, it looks I good. I kept a little of the brass underneath there. You did a lot better than I thought you would. Did you? <laughs> did you really? Absolutely. Right, he looks I'll... good. Not too bad. Yeah. It's the detail work is just so <laughs> horribly like. <laughs> Nerve-wracking, I can't, ugh. I felt the same way before, it's now my favorite part of it. Is it, because it's just you can zen out and do mm -hmm. what you gotta do. So is that it, huh? That's it. There's our, uh, So that is the Azrael. Azrael, what is Infinity it? Wars. The Special Deterrence Group. <laughs> special Deterrence Group, Azrael, with the Fuerbach, Ferrobach, mm -hmm. and the army is the, uh... Hackislam. Hackislam. Amazing, well, thank you for aging me exponentially. <laughs> I appreciate that, but we are done. Uh, this, I, can't, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much to our very special guest, Nathan uh, Villarreal. Thanks for having me. For coming here, who has uh, uh, showed us some pretty amazing stuff here. Remember, you can buy all these minis, you can paint along with us, and uh, you can age as much as I have <laughs> over the last two episodes as we've been trying to do this. Thank you so much for all the tips. You're incredible. Uh, go check out his work, check out his stuff. It's amazing. And uh, we have a tradition here. If you think I've earned it, mm -hmm. that since I started uh, knowing next to nothing and I'm getting better, if you think I am deserving, you could maybe give me a stripe and level uh, me up. Uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. yes. Of course, yes, yes. of course. And then maybe sign my shirt. Uh, that would be awesome because this Absolutely. is the official uh, Painter's Guild Bob Ross shirt. <laughs> so that would be great. You're earning your stripes, huh? Huh? This isn't even a real rank at this point. <laughs> I'm glad you think I earned it. I certainly earned you did a phenomenal job. <laughs> you really there. did. So I appreciate <laughs> that. Come back and join us again. Will do. I appreciate that. And remember, every great masterpiece started with a single brush. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.